Hello, beautiful people. We are going to be making my vegan cashew cream sauce. Um, really super easy to make. I've just got half a cup of cashews here. I soak them for about an hour and I'm gonna add them to the water. I'm gonna do about a cup of water. I kind of eyeball everything, so I will do all of it, see if I like it, and add if I need to add. Um, and I will just put the full kind of um, recipe in the description once I've got everything together here for you guys. I added a little bit of cayenne. Um, I'm not going to put too much because I don't want it to be spicy. I'm just adding it for a little bit of flavor. I'm going to add my nutritional yeast. Um, this is great uh, for anything that you want cheesy if you're a vegan. Um, it's also good for you, but I'm going to do about a quarter cup here. Um, if I'm doing like a Buddha bowl and I have quinoa and a bunch of like zucchini and eggplant, I do my avocado, I'll do like my hemp hearts on top and I'll sprinkle it with a bunch of nutritional yeast because I love it. I'm just going to add a couple pinches of pink Himalayan salt and I am going to do a whole lemon. And I'm going to do one clove of garlic. You could do more if you want, um, but it just makes my breath stink so bad. And it's so good for you. It's really, really good for you, but it's stinky. So I'm just gonna do one clove. Um, do I have everything inside? Yes, I do. Um, so I'm just gonna blend this up. Oh, and I'm saving my seeds from the lemons. Um, say hello. Um, I'm saving the seeds for my lemons because I am gonna do another video. Um, tell them girl, I'm gonna do another video of showing you how to plant your lemon seeds. I have been growing mine for about uh, a year now. So yeah, I'm gonna set those aside. Okay, let's. I always wait to plug this in because trust me, Lord knows, I always do a little kind of thing here and then I end up flicking it on and you know, I'm Alicia, so I'm prone to making a little bit of an accident. So I wait to plug in my Vitamix. You can add it to your dressings. You can add it on top of your quinoa when you do a Buddha bowl for flavor. Let's check the flavor here. That's actually perfect. Um, I've been adding a lot of cayenne to stuff because <clears throat> it's anti-inflammatory. It's awesome. So I've been trying to add it to my um, like my veggies and stuff. Can you see this? Can you see? Yeah. Um, so this is it. You can see the consistency. It's so creamy and cheesy and delicious. You can make it a little thicker if you want. Yes, tell them she talks so much. Um, this can be just like your base, you know, and you can do so much to it. You can add pesto to it. You can do different things, but I do it just like this. I put it in the fridge and, um, yeah. And just warm it up on the stove, add it to your pastas. Don't warm it up, add it to your dressing, add it to your uh, salads as dressing. And that's that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I just wanna show you guys that it's not hard to eat clean. Um, there are delicious and easy ways to eat clean and eat vegan. It's all about just getting the knowledge and educating, ed educating yourself. So. Um, I'm just going to continue to show you guys different videos and ways that you can do that. 
Um, in the meantime, I'm sending you peace. I'm sending you love and blessings. Take care.